I'm going to show you how to take second derivatives with implicit differentiation in this video. It's a little different because of just the, the nature of how the problems are set up. So let's start with this problem, x squared plus y squared equals 9. So nice straightforward first derivative, right? So um, if I implicitly differentiate, I'll have 2x plus 2y dy dx equals 0. And then if I solve this, so ultimately I will get this is negative 2x divided by 2y. So my first derivative is negative x over y. So obviously I'm assuming if you're watching this video you understand kind of this concept of implicit differentiation. If you do not, you're going to want to brush up on that. I'm, I, it's going to make your life much easier. Okay, so this is my y prime. So this is kind of semantics here, but let's just change this to y prime for a moment. I want to just use a different letter. And so you're going to take the derivative of this, you know, like normal. So this will give you y double prime equals. So just take the derivative as if now the first derivative is not here. So pretend this was the function that I gave you. So now here you're going to have to use a quotient rule. So taking the derivative of the top, that's going to be 1, and then multiply that by the bottom, so this is y, and then subtract off from this. Um, so let's see, actually I'm, I'm going to move this minus sign in front here so I don't lose it, and then I'll put parentheses around this. This is 1y, and then I leave the top alone, and then if I take the derivative of y, that's just going to leave me with dy dx. Okay, all of this over y squared. Okay, so now this is going to become y minus x dy dx over y squared. And so now here's kind of the conundrum, right? So it's like, do you solve for dy dx? Does that even make sense if this is a second derivative? Because this is not the notation for the second derivative. And then also it doesn't really make sense to solve for dy dx because you've got y prime here already. So the whole thing just kind of looks odd. So this is actually kind of where we're almost done. All I have to do now is replace my dy dx with dy dx right over here, right? So now I can take this guy and just replace him right in there. And then what I get is y double prime equals, so let me distribute this negative and this becomes negative y plus x times negative x over y, all of this over y squared, and now you can just try to simplify, you know, wherever possible. So I would probably break this up into negative 1 over y plus x, oh no, 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 minus x squared over y cubed, and so that would be how that would simplify. So slightly different. So if we do it one more time, just to show you another example, these are basic examples, by the way, if you're looking for, for more examples, I have another video of just examples of, of slightly harder examples. Okay, so now taking the derivative, this is gonna be two y dy dx equals one. So solving for dy dx in this case is nice and simple. So this is one over two y. And so now I take the derivative again, right? So I like to just write this out as y double prime. I just skip to that. And now I take the derivative as usual. So <clears throat> to make my life easier, I could use the chain rule here. So I could think of this as uh, 2y to the negative first. So that now when I take the derivative of this, this will become negative 1 times 2y time, uh, to the negative second times 2 dy dx. So now I can just simplify all of this. So this becomes, um, let's see, negative 2 over 2y squared dy dx. So now I just have to replace this also with my, with my dy dx, right? So this will be y double prime is negative 2. Let's write this out as 4y squared times 1 over 2y. So this will ultimately simplify to negative 1 over 4y cubed. And so that would be my second derivative in this case. 
So that's actually it for, for this video, just to show you like very quickly how to take second derivatives with, with that little twist. So I've got other examples if you're interested in checking them out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.